Well, the television industry is continuing to pay tribute to veteran actor Menzi Ngobani. That's understood uh, he suffered a stroke while an acting career spanning from 1987. He played major roles in popular shows like Isibaya and Generations. Uh, to remember this incredibly talented actor, I'm joined by a director, very well-known director and one of the founding partners at Bomb Shelter Productions, Angus Gibson. Morning to you, Angus. First of all, my condolences uh, to you on the loss of not just a friend, uh, but an incredibly talented uh, actor here in South Africa. How are you doing after the news? Hi Gareth, when I got the news sort of middle of day yesterday, I was pretty devastated. Um, I mean, I've known Menzi has not been well for some years, and in fact, he sold it all the way through Sibaya, um, kind of never complaining, um, but clearly not well. So, which is kind of a tribute not only to his talent, but to his spirit as a being. Um, but, you know, I, I first met him. Um, uh, he came into my office, and it was after Yizo 1, and he said, if there's a Yizo 2, I have to be in it. And I kind of looked at this guy, and the thing about Menzi is that he is an astonishingly charming person, he was. And uh, he made an impression. So when Yizo 2 came along, uh, we organized an audition, and he auditioned for this teacher that was having a relationship with one of his young students. And he did one audition, and I looked at it, and I was clear, he was the man. Because he had this extraordinary combination of being both charming and being wicked at the same time. Mm -hmm. He sort of, he could play the devil in a way that completely seduced you. And I, the, the other directors sort of said, well, you know, maybe we should see some other people. But it was clear for me that Menzi was going to get that role. Um, and he was so astonishingly brilliant in that role and so scary in a way and so, so fantastic. The thing is that you completely understood why this young girl would fall for him. Um, that we then decided, well, we wanted to start a really big show with him at the center of it. Um, you know, do a daily show with him as the lead character. But generations uh, saw his talent and got to him before you could get that show going. So many years later, when we did Isibaya and he had left generations, it was, you know, we were incredibly excited to be able to resume that relationship. And work. he did extraordinary work for us again. Working with him on a daily basis, I think those uh, from the world of production, Angus, uh, don't realize just how close uh, you and uh, the talent, the actors, and the entire crew uh, grow with one another. You spend hours and days with each other in, in the same space, and uh, yet he was, he was one of those uh, people who I'm, I'm hearing from those who knew him personally, uh, regardless of the kind of pressure put on him from production houses uh, to perform the kind of hours they were working. Uh, he just plowed through, but not just for himself, but he was able to pick up uh, the rest of the team, almost, one wants to say, some kind of inspiration uh, on set, uh, from what I've heard from people who knew him. That's absolutely right. And, you know, I mean, he was the sort of the patriarch of the Nguenya family in, in Isibaya. And that family was extraordinarily tight. They sort of, the actors, the actors in the family gravitated around his spirit and and the truth is that uh, it was pretty well known that the crew really loved, when it was the Nguenya family coming up, that was when they were happiest because it was just so good to work with them. Um, and, and this was when life was not so easy for, for Menzi. Um, so it was a real tribute to him. And I... I can't immediately think of anybody that, that can fill quite the shoes that, that, that you know, that he, he has left a real, a real gap, no doubt about it. Your one, uh, perhaps as I say goodbye to you, Angus, if, if you can, and I know it's always difficult at times like this when someone asks you this question, uh, from your personal perspective, uh, one moment, perhaps just one memory you can share with us that just stands out for you. I'm sure there's many, many of them, but perhaps just one that comes to mind. 
Well, you asked me that. So I have a strange personal memory. Was um, I? Uh, I was watching Menzi perform, um, and I, uh, I was completely enthralled by how incredible he was. And I, I received a text, sort of while I was watching, and I looked down at the text, and my father had died. And um, so, I have that strange personal connection with him, because I was so, sort of. Uh, when I think of my father passing, it's always Menzi. And the thing was that it was a sadness. It was a great sadness losing my father. But I have this memory of this extraordinary performance attached to that. So, yeah, it does feel like I had a special connection. I'm sure you did as well. And uh, Angus Gibson, I know very difficult to talk about. I thank you uh, for, for taking the time and speaking to us this morning. My condolences to you on the loss of your very dear friend and very talented actor, uh, director, and one of the founding partners at Bomb Shelter Productions, Angus Gibson, joining us here on ENCA. And I'm